Hey everybody, Tim here over at Genius Mods. Today we're going to be showing you how to install our new mouse triggers for PlayStation 4 controllers. So we're offering two different types of kits. One that requires no soldering whatsoever. We automatically so we pre-solder the wires for you to the, the mapper. And another version where um, you get the the triggers with the water the, the wire soldered to them, but you have to do the soldering to the the easy mapper, um, which is easy to do. We just figured we offer one that has absolutely no soldering. So the first thing you're gonna want to do is take apart your controller. So um, simple to do. Um, Actually, ours is already apart, so we'll show you real quickly. There's four screws in the back of it. Um, one, two, three, four. So just undo those. If you don't have the correct screwdriver for these controllers, we sell them. Um, we have them available for, I believe they're $3 or so. They're cheap. Um, we recommend that you use the correct screwdriver and you do not strip your screws because um, then you're going to run into some trouble. Once you undo those four screws, you're going to want to pull from right by where the thumbstick is and pull upwards like this. And you want to be mindful of this ribbon cable which is connected right there. And as you see it just came out, but um, you want to make sure you don't tear that. Um, it can also come off of this piece in here, which it just slides right into that PCB there for the LED and the touch bar. But easy to do. Um, again, just be careful. Take your time while doing it. And you can put that aside. Now you are presented with this part of the controller. Next step is removing the battery. So you'll see that it's connected. Um, the connector right there, which you can just pull up real easily. Now, most of them have tape onto the backing of it, so you're just going to want to kind of pry that off, um, but just be mindful. If you feel any force, it's just that little piece of tape right there. Underneath the battery is one more screw, um, so we'll just have to undo that screw, making sure we don't lose any of the screws. They are very small and easy to lose. So, put those aside somewhere safe, and this just kind of comes off. Um, you might have to kind of tweak it a little bit to clip it. Again, be careful after you take that off. Um, you have one more ribbon to undo, which is for the touchpad right there. Um, nothing really too special about that. You just pull, and this goes into this little socket thing. You can kind of do that. Um, so... First, I'll show you how triggers normally work on PlayStation controllers. Here's a controller that's already open. So basically, you'll see um, the you see this flexible piece of plastic. It's called daughter board that has all these d dots on it. Um, so basically, when you press any of these buttons down, like here's your X and square, triangle, your D-pad, they'll make contact with those squares there, these conductive pads here. And that will then send a signal to see how the, the traces all go to these lines right here. And those match up with these lines right here on the rigid PCB. And that's basically how it works. So we're going to um, basically be putting our new triggers that have been wired in between those two um, making contact with both of them so I'll show you a little bit how that works but normally for triggers um, there's another conductive pad here that has to be depressed downward and that makes contact with you'll see that little black spot there once it's pushed down and then that will, again, make contact over there. Um, so I'll just show you real quick kind of how this mechanism works. You'll see that it has the spring to return to neutral position. And you'll see it has um, basically a little protrusion, I guess you could say, that 
So when it's normally installed, oh, I am putting it on the wrong side. Sorry about that. Normally when it's installed, um, you push this down and again, that pushes down on that rubber conductive pad and that's basically making contact to indicate you want to press the trigger down. So what we're going to do is decrease that amount of time that you're going to have to push. You know, you're wasting a lot of precious time when you're shooting or aiming in first person shooter games or whatever other games you may be playing by having to physically have that distance go to push that that board there. Um, so I'll get more into that once we actually install these things. But now that you've got this board here, going back to what we were just at, um, you can push up on your thumbsticks while holding on to where these rumbles are, and that will push out that rigid PCB. Um, this can come off, but you don't really need it to. Try and keep your touchpad ribbon cable through there because it's kind of a pain to maneuver back there. Now, um, you're going to see that these, um, these contact points, they line up with the ones right there on the board. And you want to make sure that, see this got a little bit of hot glue on it looks like, so you want to make sure it's free of any dust or dirt because it's going to ruin your contact. Now, you place it right over where those dots are. And make sure it's lined up properly. And then, oh, came undone a little bit. Thumbstick just came off too. Sometimes little things like this will happen. Your thumbsticks just basically rest on a peg over there. But... Anyway, going back to this, we are in. And um, again, you just wanna make sure that you line that up perfectly because otherwise these points over here, you could tear the actual, um, your easy map right there. So the next step would be to put the screw back into the board there just to secure everything in place um you don't have to do this first you could of course uh, you know reassemble everything in any order that you want it's just usually a good idea to do that um i think you want to take a little bit of hot glue a little dab there push this board down here it's kind of rest nicely over there Remember to put our touchpad ribbon cable back in. Now, if you have the board that you have to solder, you're gonna notice that these are labeled. Um, underneath where it says G, you have five points. Those are ground. And then you have, of course, R2 and L2. So basically what you're gonna wanna do is, um, so this here is your R2 button. You want one of the wires going to the point that says R2 and the other wire going to ground. You could have more than one wire going to one ground point, doesn't matter. Um, that's all fine and okay. So now we remove these old triggers, the OEM ones, and simply click in our new ones. Um, you want to be mindful of the wiring. Try and kind of keep it to the side, like that. Um, okay. That one's in. Next one, in. Now, basically, you can see, you barely have to touch the trigger for it to shoot. So this is the old one. You have to go all the way down. This one, you tap that much. So you can see a very, very clear distance, uh, a difference there. Um, this is gonna allow you to shoot and aim so much faster, so much nicer. It's, um, it's all around just, just um, gonna be, be great for you. 
You want to assemble it the, the same way that you did before. Again, just being mindful of these wires. I should actually move these over to the other side. Um, yeah, you just want to make sure they don't get pinched on anything. So again, you know, we've got our triggers there. Um, now, here we have paddles. So, same kind of idea. Um, you're going to just solder to whatever buttons you want to solder those two on the Easy Mapper. So... We also sell paddle kits. Um, this one we're gonna solder to X and O. And same thing, one button, uh, you're gonna have you know, two wires coming off these buttons. One goes to ground, one goes to the button that you wanna wire it to. So we'll do that real quick. While we've got this open, I'm at kind of an awkward angle with my soldering iron, so it's probably gonna be a pretty poor soldering job, but for demonstrative purposes it shall do I'm going to show you here what I just did um wired X and O and then the edge of the ground. I shared the ground on that one. Um, now, in terms of putting the controller back together, you, know, you want to... Oops, sorry about that, you guys. Just kind of secure your wires. You can always hot glue them down. We give you a little bit extra length just in case you need them. Um, this, again, this is actually going to make a little bit of contact with this board. I kind of glued it a little bit off center, but... Um, there you go, it's not in the way. Um, again, clip your battery back in. Oops. The battery will only go in one way, so you don't have to worry about messing that up. And again, you just want to make sure that these have some, some space to kind of breathe these wires here. Um, I mean, it takes some some pliers and actually get a little bit extra room there so you don't obstruct anything now you've got to plug back in your ribbon and again make sure that none of your wires fall outside the controller none of them get pinched this clear piece goes in between in there and you can just kind of push making sure your battery's not in the way making sure nothing else is obstructing and something's obstructing it here uh, normally I wouldn't be as aggressive I'm just trying to put this together quickly for you guys there we go you can kind of hear it click Everything went back together. It's one of our controllers. We got some gold thumbstick, gold buttons, and again, we got some reflex paddles mapped to circle and X. So basically, with the paddles, you don't have to ever leave your thumb, your right thumb, from your thumbstick because you have X and O on your paddles right there. And again, you got this extra sensitive trigger. So, um. That's about it. Uh, they're available for sale at GeniusModsDesigns.com. Be sure to follow us, Facebook.com slash GeniusMods. Um, Twitter at GeniusMods. Instagram is underscore GeniusMods. Remember the underscore. Um, website GeniusModsDesigns.com. Support at GeniusMods.com. Our phone number's on there. Um, you can contact us. We have all sorts of parts available. You can... Yeah, do it yourself kits or complete controllers. Um, and basically, if you have any questions on how to install this or if you have any troubleshooting, um, 
you know, let us know. Basically, if you go and you start playing your game and you notice you're clicking the button and it's not doing the action, you probably pinched a wire or the, um, the contact points on these, uh, on these mappers, maybe one of the contacts wasn't uh, lined properly. That could be one problem. You could have a bad solder joint on, on here. You could have a broken trace, a couple of different things. But if you contact us, we can help you to figure out what's going on. And that will do it for you guys. Thank you and have a great day.